everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building another trailer. I know there's been quite a lot of these on the channel lately, but I did warn you guys on my bright blue trailer that I needed to build just a few more. Or was it on my tiny sunshine trailer? I don't remember. But anyways, so in this area of Oasis Springs in my save file, there'll be quite a lot of trailers and that's why there'll still be some more coming up. But today we're building one for Johnny Sest and this one is actually gonna turn out to be for Johnny Sest. Because I know that the bright blue trailer that I did a couple of weeks ago was supposed to be for him, but I just wasn't feeling him in the interior when I was done with the trailer. So I decided to build another one and I definitely think that this one is more suitable for him. So I hope you guys like it. So obviously I have to compare this a little bit to the bright blue trailers that I did just so you can see what I did differently. Basically the two trailers look nothing alike. <laughs> this one is a lot darker. It's a lot more, it's a lot messier in the interior. The trailer itself is kind of like deteriorating a little bit. Like there's... How do you call that? Cracks in the walls and holes in the walls and all that stuff. So I just wanted it to look like the trailer was falling apart just a little bit. Like he doesn't really take care of it because he doesn't have the money to. As you know, Johnny says is actually a land grab, but he was disowned by the family after he decided to go a different route because he wanted to be a comedian rather than do whatever they wanted him to do. So he was kind of disowned and just thrown out of the house and he found himself. Uh, living in the trailer park instead that only consists of one trailer and we're gonna have to do something about that at some point <laughs> by the way but I decided to move Jenny says to a I think this is a 20 by 15 pretty sure it is so that he doesn't take up the whole 40 by 30 all by himself so there's gonna be something else on the 40 by 30 something with more room for more sims just so we can have more townies in my save file so um yeah I know I also said that I wasn't gonna build anything for the safe file this week but so far I built the loft I don't remember what day that was Thursday possibly days are kind of like blending together a little bit these days I don't know what's going on anyways but I know that I've already built the industrial loft that I've actually already placed in the save file so I just need to make a sim for the lot and also his dog I just need to put in some pet stuff as well because like I said he needs a French like a little Frenchie that would be so cute a French bulldog so anyways um, so I built that already this week and now I've also built this which is also for the save file so whoops I didn't stick to my word <laughs> but there will be another house up on the channel sometime during next week because I did decide to just I felt like I just needed to sit down and build something random like just a random house that didn't necessarily need to be on a certain lot or fit the surroundings that well it probably will turn out to fit the surroundings anyways because that's kind of become a habit by now but um yeah I just felt like I needed to sit down and build some random house so I did I did share a picture of it on discord and so far I'm not completely satisfied with it so I need to play around with it a little bit more which is also why it didn't I didn't release it here today and um, yeah hopefully it'll turn out good though hopefully you guys will like it but um, anyways, for the trailer, I completely forgot to say, but you may have noticed that the trailer is actually levitating above the ground. That's because I wanted it to look like an actual trailer so that it wasn't... Because I know that some trailers from what I've seen in pictures, some of them have wheels and some of them don't. I wanted this one to look like it has wheels. So I took some of these pool lights you can see right now, I've sized them up. I've seen other simmers do this, by the way, so it's not something that I've come up with. Um, just want to point that out. <laughs> Not my idea at all. I don't know who did come up with it though, but I've seen a lot of other simmers do that trick because they kind of look like wheels just a little bit. So I placed them on the side of the trailer and then the trailer is levitating because I actually built a box on the ground level first and then I built a box on top of that box and then I deleted the bottom box which had a foundation. So the top box won't have a foundation if you lower it down, it'll just be levitating. So that's how you do that trick. It's very simple. I've done that before with I think a couple of times, definitely a couple of times with both a split level house I did, but also also one of the houses in Del Sol Valley is built the same kind of way. So yeah, that's just a nice little trick if you want a levitating house or something with wheels or you know, whatever. So um, yeah. And also with the landscaping here, I kind of kind of wanted it to look like 
it was overgrown a little bit because I don't think Johnny Sest is the kind of sim who would care too much about landscaping around his house, you know? So it's just kind of random. There's a lot of it because he hasn't kept an eye on it. He's just kind of let it grow. But uh, it looked a little bit out of place just on its own. So I painted some grass underneath just so it looks like it's growing out of the grass instead of just on the desert, you know, like on the sand. That doesn't really look realistic to me. So I did that and uh, yeah, hopefully it does look a little bit overgrown. I didn't want to place anything on the trailer itself, just like a lot of bushes and some flowers, a lot of grass and other stuff like that just to make it look a little bit overgrown. So um, yeah, there was also quite a lot of grass underneath the trailer. The trailer has been here for a while. Like I said, it's kind of deteriorating. It's um, it's it's falling apart basically. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably been here, been here for a bit. But also by the way, uh, before I forget to say, Johnny says to my save file actually has a dog. It's a papillion that's called Pepper. So I made sure to make room for that dog in this house too. He's had that dog ever since Cats and Dogs came out because when I did a Let's Play on that, not for very long, but I had like a few episodes up on the channel. Let's just ignore that anyways. But before I started that Let's Play, I gave some of the townies some pets like the land grabs have a poodle or two I don't remember if they have one or two anyways and then they possibly also have a cat and who else got pets I don't actually remember anymore I just remember the land grabs because I gave them a pink poodle because <laughs> I thought Nancy would have a pink poodle no no offense to because I don't really like the land grabs and no offense to poodles by the way I know they are highly intelligent they just kind of ooze that like rich vibe like you know what I mean so I thought they would fit the land grabs and then I gave Johnny says here a papillion because I thought it looked really funny in the game and he's a comedian so he kind of needed a little bit of a of a more, um, a, a dog with more personality, I would say. I like the ears, they just look kind of funny in game, but in real life, papillions are so freaking cute and fluffy, and I'm a big fan. <laughs> so the interior of the trailer is, um, definitely random. I would say random, yes, that describes it pretty well. I just kind of went with whatever furniture I thought looked cheap, and like, it is kind of old, and... Some of the paintings as well don't really go together, but again, I wasn't, I was really trying to make everything not match. So the colors don't go together and the furniture, like I said, a lot of it looks like it could be like second hand or something. I went with these, these floorboards instead. Yes, they are from Spooky Stuff Pack. I use them quite often for like uh, cottages and stuff like that because I think they look perfect for those kind of builds because they're kind of rustic. So I thought that would fit this trailer too because it looks like they kind of need like a good scrubbing or something. I don't know what to do with wooden panels or flooring or whatever, but they look like they could need some kind of treatment. And um, yeah, these uh, paintings, one of them, the one on the left side right now is from Strangerville and I thought it looked super cool. So I went with that one, never used it before, but I kind of figured it fit Johnny Sess just a little bit. The bed here is from base game, but the, the rug, by the way, I've used three rugs overall. Two of them are actually the same rug and it's from Get Famous. And then the last one I used is another one from Vampire Game Pack because they look a little bit like some people have spilled stuff on them or they've been walked on a little bit too much. Like they look like they're kind of falling apart too. Like they're definitely used. So I decided to go for those swatches and those are the only ones I can remember had swatches like that. So I just stuck with them. So this one is from Get Famous. The one that I placed in the kitchen is also from Get Famous, but the one that's underneath the computer area, because yes, he does have a computer. He has the cheaper laptop because he is a comedian, so I figured it would help him a little bit. Maybe practice his um, comedy skill, I suppose. Like writing jokes and stuff if he had a computer, so I figured he'd need one for gameplay purposes. But I placed the rug underneath the office area, let's call it that. So um, yeah, and also I did put some, some what's it called, clutter or some mess underneath this dresser here, but I actually had to delete it. 
so you see me putting a laundry pile underneath the dresser because I figured he would just have like, you know, stuff lying around the place just randomly like newspapers and letters and whatever but that laundry pile and also the pile of newspapers next to it actually block the dresser. I did try to move the newspapers over in front of the mirror but then they blocked the mirror. I don't know why, I just figured they looked like or it looked like clutter that you could basically just place everywhere and your sims would be able to walk on top of it like they do with rugs because rugs don't block anything but apparently not so unfortunately I had to um, I had to delete the, the laundry at least and I don't remember what I did with the newspapers but they're still in the build they'll still be here and then I put some boxes in front of the bed too because I figured he would just have like stuff you know just stuff lying around he lives in a tiny trailer he prob ha probably has a lot of stuff just randomly in places because he doesn't have a lot of storage space and I also put the bed for the dog because I figured that the dog needed a bit you know can't sleep on the floor maybe it would sleep next to Johnny in the bed I don't know could that happen actually I think the dogs can actually do that which is kind of cute I'll admit it's kind of cute I would let my dog do that <laughs> Is that disgusting? I don't care. <laughs> I also don't have a dog, unfortunately, but if I did, I would definitely let it sleep next to me. <laughs> Anyways, so in here we got the little office area, like you can see. I've used the laptop, like I said before, and it's the cheaper one, and I just figured he just needed something cheap to work on, basically. I did try to include all the things for, you know, seasons, and also there's actually laundry, which is outside too, but I just wanted to make sure that he had everything he needed for a gameplay purpose. Purposes. even if you guys aren't good at playing this trailer you can definitely just like move him out if you do want to play in this trailer and you don't want to play as Johnny says you can just move him out once uh, the save file goes up I'm kind of like I want to play some of my older sims in the save file and I know that they're gonna be a little bit difficult to recognize just, well as it is already because I have so many of them but also because um, also because they're gonna be CC free because I don't want you guys to have to download any CC to use my save file so that's gonna be a little bit fun but I kind of want to I kind of want to play plain <laughs> plays some of my sims some of my older sims in the save file maybe the ones from my LPs that I have quit <laughs> but still I kind of want them in the save file so I don't know maybe that will be a little bit fun maybe some of you can recognize some of them or something so um yeah I don't know I just had that idea when I because I placed one of the houses in Brindleton Bay and it was one of the houses that I'd used for the cats and dogs LP and I just thought like she just needs to live in this house like this is her house it was built for her and she has the background story so I'm gonna put my cats and dogs LP person sim in that house with her pets so I think I'm gonna do that with some of the other houses too I don't know let me know what you think so I was actually considering using some of the city living counters for the kitchen here because the city living counters are basically base game counters that just look a little bit used and they just look a little bit nasty, basically. So I wanted to use those to start out with, but I just don't like those counters. I use the cabinets now and then, the, the base game ones, not the city living ones, but I just, I don't like those. I don't like those counters. They look a little bit too plasticky to me, so I decided to go for the jungle adventure ones instead. That could look nice, but I think the rest of the interior kind of makes up for it, you know, so they still look like they kind of blend in, but you can definitely change them out with the city living counters if you'd rather the entire trailer just look kind of used and like, you know, used and dirty, but I figured it would be fine to go with the jungle adventure ones. Like I said, I just don't like the base game counters slash city living counters. I like the cabinets, just not the counters. I also went with the mismatching chairs because I figured he may have found some of the chairs, maybe off the flea market, or what's it called? The, yeah, flea market. The one in the spice district is called the flea market, I think. So he may have gone there a couple of times to buy furniture or something. I think the yellow chair that's over by the bookcase as well is actually from City Living, so it's a possibly a recolor of a base game couch and it just looks kind of dirty and very used and stuff so i decided to go for that one too i think you can buy it from the flea market along with one of the lamps you can put on the ground as well or the floor 
floor lamps, I suppose they're called. <laughs> Anyways, because one of the ones from Base Game as well is actually recolored for city living. They've added a lot of different colors to it along with some patterns and it just looks kind of dirty and stuff and really used. So I think there are both some of the items that'll turn up at the flea market now and then that looked look really really used and um yeah they're kind of fun i don't often get to use them but i figure for johnny sis's trailer he doesn't have a lot of money and stuff so he would probably be the kind of sim to buy those items basically because he can't really afford a lot else you know what i mean like you can't really afford um, new furniture. I also went with mismatching chairs for the same reason. I figured he'd just gone to the flea market and bought whatever he had access to there because, you know, he was thrown out of the home and doesn't really have a lot of money because I suppose being a comedian doesn't really pay well, especially at the start. So yeah, unfortunately for him. And then before I forget to say, he did get a microphone. It's in his bedroom because, you know, he's Johnny Sest. So he needs a microphone in his house or trailer or wherever he lives. But that's about it for this video. So if you like this build, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. and life we were so good at flying but we can't keep flying we keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountain we were so good